everybody. Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy. Today, I want to talk to you about why you shouldn't put scrolling text in your website's header or anywhere else on your website for that matter. I see this question come up a lot on the Squarespace community Facebook page. People want to know how to add a scrolling banner to their website's header. They include examples of other websites that they want to emulate. And in every case, or at least the ones that I've looked at, the text in the banner is also scrolling, and sometimes there's a lot of it. People jump into the Facebook post to help with links to plugins and CSS on how to make this happen, and it makes me wince a little. I want to say don't do it. Don't make your text scroll. You'll lose website visitors. But I don't want to be a bossy pants or discredit anyone leaving those comments because they're just trying to help. Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you that scrolling text, especially in your website's header, is a bad idea 100% of the time. There are no exceptions to this rule. We get excited when we're building our websites, and sometimes we get carried away and start sacrificing content for design. In my experience, the more we fuss with the design, the more the design suffers and the brand message is degraded right along with it. You hear it all the time. Imagery can make or break your website. This is partly true. Trust me when I tell you that just because you have a lot of great photos doesn't mean you need to use them all. Automatic scrolling gallery blocks are a great way to display several images without cluttering up the page. But don't make the mistake of scrolling text. It's one thing to look at a sampling, and I do mean a sampling, photos, but scrolling text is always a bad idea because it frustrates the heck out of website visitors. If you're including important content in the scrolling text, hint, the only text that appears on your website should be important content. Making it scroll is a great way to prevent website visitors from seeing it and or reading it. Website content that delivers your brand message should always, always, always be static so that your website visitors can consume it. This is another question that came up once in the Squarespace community Facebook group. When I hopped in to answer the question, suggesting adding a gallery block and then a text block over it, this would be in Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine, of course, I learned that the gallery block feature is only available to Squarespace Circle members, which I didn't actually know. Whoops. So if you are dead set on having a scrolling banner with static text over it, you have to either be a Squarespace Circle member or you'll have to hire someone who is to do this for you. And it might be worth it to you to pay someone to do this for you because it shouldn't take more than 30 minutes to an hour. If you are a Squarespace Circle member, this is actually quite easy to do. I suggest using images that are horizontally oriented. Otherwise, you may have to automatically crop them and they just won't look right. In edit mode, select edit section and make sure fill screen is toggled off. You're going to add a block and add a gallery block. Select edit and upload all your images. Then select the design tab and select slideshow. Uncheck all of these boxes unless you need to automatically crop images. I usually try to do it without that. But you do want to check automatically transition between slides. And I find that a good speed is between four and five seconds. Then all you have to do is click and drag the frame to fill the entire header. Just make sure you fill the whole thing. Now you can see that it's not actually filling it all up. So I'm going to go back into edit mode. And I don't know why it does this. This might happen to you too. But I'm going to click on automatically crop images. And I'm actually going to uncheck it. And I don't know why, but it seems to work okay. I know that these images are going to work because they're all the same size and they're all horizontally oriented. Now you just need to add a text block. So I'm going to add block, add text. And there's my text. Position your block where you want it. And sometimes it can be hard to read the text on the background. So a lot of times I'll add a background color. So just select the little paint can. And you can choose a color from your palette or you can choose a custom color. Once you've selected the color, you can click on it and then you can drag this to make the background a little bit transparent. And I like to do this because then you can still see the image behind it a little bit but you can read the text more clearly. You can also change the padding of the text block. You can select small, 
medium or large, or you can customize it. You can also add a corner radius if you want. See, by selecting this option, you can add a radius to specific corners too, like this. This is how I created this scrolling banner for this particular client. It was a good option for them because they had some really great professional photos taken at some of the most scenic racetracks in New England, like this one in Tamworth. Squarespace has a block called a scrolling block, which allows you to add scrolling text to your website. If you are going to use this block, use it sparingly for the reason I stated above. Website visitors are frustrated by scrolling text. I would only use scrolling text in the following scenarios. For promotions like this one I have on my own website, to draw attention to something in particular, but only put a few words in it so all the text in your block appears on the page at once. Like this. This is a little bit too much. This client likes the scrolling text because they are a motorcycle riding school, which is all about movement. They wanted some movement on their website. And I think that this is fine. Some ways that you can edit this block are as such. I actually have two lines of text in here. You can even add a link to this block if you want to. And this can come in handy, especially if you are having a promotion and you can link to a page on your website or wherever your promotion lives. And then in the design tab, you can actually make this wave if you want to, which is kind of cool. And you can choose the wave width like this. Mess around with it a little bit. Choose your text style, text size, and even which direction you want to go in. I wouldn't go in the reverse direction. And of course, the speed, you can go slowly, which is better than going fast because it gives people a chance to actually read what is on the page. You can select pause on hover so that if the visitor wants to stop this thing so they can read it, all they have to do is hover over it and they'll be able to read all of the text. You can fade the edges if you want. You can see how it's faded right here, and it will be faded on this side as well. And you can choose the color, just as I just showed you, corner radius, padding, or customize the padding. Any copy that you put on your website should be carefully procured to serve the purpose of the website, which is usually to grow your business. So you shouldn't have useless text on your website in the first place. Example, quote, as much as I love them, they are someone else's words have nothing to do with your business, even if you have an affinity for them like I do. I used to do this all the time on my own website and on my clients' websites. I don't do this anymore. Since all the copy that appears on your website serves a purpose, be sure your website visitors can easily consume it. Scrolling banner text makes it difficult for your website visitors to read your website copy, so just don't do it. It's merely an embellishment that provides no value. I hope you guys found this helpful, and if you did, Please give this video a like, consider subscribing to my channel, maybe share this with someone who you think could use some help with this, but most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.